What's up guys? Today we're going to do a quick review on my Fendi Mini Peekaboo. This is actually a bag that's never been on my wish list. It's something that you don't know how beautiful and wonderful it is until you actually see it in person. And that's kind of what happened to me. So um, I've had this for probably a little over a year and this is gonna be a one year review and I'm gonna sort of walk you through the exterior and then also what fits inside and then how it fits on my body frame. So if you're interested in that, then uh, please keep on watching. Okay, so this is the mini size, as I said. It's got one handle and two compartments. There's a little divider here and a lock that you can lock each compartment with. But before I get into that, um, I've always carried it without any kind of twilly or scarf on it, but I thought it'd be kind of cute to put one on. So I did get one from Longchamp that I thought complemented this bag. This is in a fuchsia color and uh, the Longchamp sc silk scarves are 100% silk and it is made in Italy. And I'm going to take this tag off because I find it kind of annoying, but uh, it says Longchamp on one side in like a little pattern and then it's got lots of pretty bright colors that I think complement this bag. So I'm going to put, this is the bag all naked and we're going to dress it with this just to jazz it up a bit. So let me do that real quick. There we are. Okay, so this is the bag with the little twilly on it, which I think is really cute. And um, so I'm gonna go over sort of the pros and cons of this bag and why I was so pleasantly surprised with this bag. Okay, so let's go through the pros and cons of this bag and some of the sort of facts. Okay, one thing let's get out of the way are the measurements. So I'm gonna measure this across. The base is about nine inches across, which is the equivalent of about 23 and a quarter centimeters. And the depth of this bag is about five inches. So that's pretty deep, which is about 12 and a half centimeters. And then the height, seven inches uh, for the body and the top handle drop is about three and a half inches. So those are the measurements. It's got gold hardware uh, and it's shiny and this is in the lambskin leather. So the thing about this bag is that uh, the lambskin does not scare me necessarily. This bag in particular does not have feet. And I wish it had feet because it's such a smooth leather. It's got quite a wide base. So you are obviously going to put your bag down on the table or something. And it would just be really, really helpful if it had feet. I know some of the peekaboos do have feet. I don't know why. I've noticed like the lambskin ones don't have feet. So I don't understand why that is, but maybe they changed it. But this, that's the one big con that really I do hate about that. I wanted like a really fun, bright color because, um, I don't know, I just find black kind of boring and, you know, you can find a black bag anywhere. Now, I never really cared to have a mini peekaboo. It's never something that's been on my wish list for, um, anytime to be honest i went into the fendi store and i was like looking for a fuchsia bag because i love fuchsia but um i was eyeing initially the sunshine tote in the mini size like the little tiny tiny size and that was totally unfunctional because all it could fit was a phone and i wasn't about to spend money like that for that so i decided to just try this on a whim and when i put it on i was like Oh my God, I totally love this. Like I've seen lots of reviews or, you know, reveals or unboxings of this bag and it just never really spoke to me until I tried it on. 
And that's when I was like, wow, like the size is so good. It's such a perfect size. Um, what didn't really appeal to me was having two compartments like this. I find it kind of confusing to remember which side I put stuff in. And I know that sounds silly, but um, I don't know. It just didn't really, it's not something that really spoke to me as a bag until I tried it on. So I'll show you the interior. The interior is all leather lined as well on both sides. And it's got a zipper pocket on the side uh, and a little slip pocket on the other side. And this also comes with a crossbody slash shoulder strap. It is adjustable and it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's got seven adjustments on it, so that's really handy. And it does lock, like you could lock one side. I don't love the way that looks because it kind of uh, pushes the bag in like that, but, and I don't really feel the need to lock it, to be honest. Um, because it does feel pretty secure. It's not, even though it's open, it doesn't feel like it's wide open, if that makes sense. So that's kind of how the exterior of the bag is. Now it does come with a little raincoat, which I think is adorable. And I'm gonna put that on real quick before I show you what fits inside, just so you know what it looks like. I've never used this raincoat. If I'm being honest, I, I would feel a little bit silly wearing it, but if you were really caught in the rain and you were walking outside like in the city or something, then this could totally make sense for you if you're like more suburban and uh, ride in the car. You probably don't need it, but it's, uh, it's really handy. <laughs> Okay, so let's see what fits inside and see how functional this is. Okay, so one thing I wanted to also do for the sake of helping you people out with a lambskin Fendi bag is I know some of you might be worried about how uh, this leather is going to last. So I'm gonna do a little scratch test on the inside of my bag with my nails and I'm gonna show you how much it shows. Um, and if that bothers you, that's gonna be up to you. So this, hmm, how am I gonna show you? Okay, so this is how it looks. And then let's, I just cut my nails. I don't like having long nails, but I'm going to give it a really good scratch. You can hear that, yeah? <laughs> so I'm not making it up. Can you see anything? No, you can't. Can you see anything? I honestly can say Hardly anything at all. Let me just rub it out. No, you can hardly see anything at all. So I'm telling you right now, this is not the same kind of lambskin as a Chanel bag because I would not do that on my Chanel bag um, because I know how delicate my Chanel lambskin is. But there's nothing. So if that is gonna scare you, if you want, do you want me to do the outside? <laughs> I'm gonna do the outside. Okay, this is the outside. This is, you know, looking pretty good. That's me scratching it. You heard the scratches, I'm not faking it. Like you can't really see anything. So it's a much better lambskin, I'm telling you. Like this is why I don't have any scratches that are all that visible on this bag. And there's quite a bit of surface area. So uh, I could understand why someone might be concerned about, you know, wear and tear. So 
Hopefully that really helps you and gives you a little bit of comfort on how durable this lambskin is. It's very different from Chanel's lambskin, I will say that. Okay, so one of the reasons why I love this bag is it's not, it doesn't fit in one category of bag. Like I feel like this is pretty multifunctional in terms of the ways that you can wear it and use it and the scenarios that you can wear this in. So I have definitely worn this to work and I have no problem with that because there's no branding or anything like that. And it's just a really nice design and color. Um, it's also a great size, so you can wear it to work, but it's also a great casual bag too. So it's it can do both. And I think that's really handy in making sure that you're gonna get your cost per wear down on your bags. So let's quickly go through what fits in here and um, based on what I typically carry. So I'm gonna just put things in as I go and then I'll show you how they actually fit because I feel like that's always important, at least when I watch videos to review and decide if I'm gonna buy something or not. So this is the Bottega Veneta six, key, six ring key pouch. This is much larger than a standard six ring key pouch and you can see the comparison like that it's much larger. So this is gonna take up some room, but I'll show you what that looks like. And then I have a very full coin purse. Whoops. And that's how that looks. I have my phone. This is a iPhone 13 regular. So this fits very easily, no problem. I'm filming with my phone, so it's just my case. And that's how, that's how that looks inside. Um, I have sunglasses in here, which I can also fit in, no problem. I have got reading glasses, because I'm old. That fits. I have tissues, no problem. Obviously, I need a wallet, which is quite a big wallet. It's quite thick. And that fits. And if you want like a little thing of mints, you can throw that in here. So if you look, that's a lot of stuff in there. I've got bulky sunglasses with the case. I've got regular reading glasses, big key holder, mints, tissues, a big wallet or medium sized wallet and a coin purse and my phone. That's actually a lot. Now it fits a lot. And so, you know, it's a bit weighty because I did put a lot. This is probably not what I'm carrying every single day, if I'm being honest. Maybe to work I would, but just as like um, running errands or lunch out, that sort of thing. I'm probably not carrying every single thing in here like this, but this is probably pretty typical for a lot of people anyway, just in terms of what they carry. So it's not unrealistic in my opinion, but if I were to take out, like this change purse is heavy as hell. Like this is full. I don't even know where I get this much change because I don't carry cash. <laughs> but um, that actually lightens it a lot more. So that, this is very reasonable and not too heavy now that I took out this change purse. It's got really good capacity. Now, if I wanted to, if I wanted to lock both sides, this is what it looks like. See, I don't like how the stuff inside kind of bulges. I don't really love the way that looks. So I'm not gonna do that and I almost never lock it. And I think it's a great size. I think it's great capacity. Now in terms of wear and tear, I've probably worn this, um, it's not like a heavy, heavy rotation bag. It will be this year more so than last year, but I did wear it a fair amount because I did wear it to work a lot. 
And then, you know, I just wore it on the weekends or whenever I was out doing errands and that sort of thing. And I wanted to sort of just dress nice, but not, um, when I'm not, when I'm just casually, but not sloppy. Um, it's a nice look to elevate your outfit. Um, to work, I don't switch out my bags like crazy often. I definitely do at least two weeks minimum um, of wearing my bags because I feel like that's how I get a lot of joy, if that makes sense. Out of, I like to know that I'm wearing the bag and not just like once or twice. So I do wear them for uh, pretty decent stretches at a time. Um, I would say that's pretty damn good for how long I've had it for the review. And um, this is like really, this is actually really in good condition considering how much I've worn it. Again, if this had feet, this would be the perfect bag, but it doesn't and I don't know why. So anyway, let me show you what it looks like when it's worn on my frame. Okay, so before I do that, I'm gonna show you, these are the rings. I don't love circles. I don't know why, I just don't love circles. <laughs> but it's got these little metal rings and that's where you would attach it. And it's quite easy, you just do that. So mine is on the middle uh, hole and I'll show you what it looks like. So I have this on the middle hole and I am 5'2". I'm wearing kind of a loose, thin sweater and my waist is right here. These are high-waisted, so uh, I would say the handle hits around my belly button. When it's crossbody and it does not bother me. So even though this is a structured handle, it's still kind of uh, malleable in a way. So it's not like it just sticks into your body uh, and it doesn't bother me. And if I were to wear it on the shoulder, this is how it looks. It's probably a little too long for my liking. So I would shorten it in that case, but I don't really tend to wear my bags just on my shoulder like this. I'll either crossbody it or I'll wear it in my wrist, on my hands, and it has no problem going into the crook of my arm. I feel like this color is just so fresh and uh, just really freshens up any outfit. And which is why I really gravitated towards this color and why I love fuchsia. And the green in the Twilly kind of really complements the fuchsia. So I love that combination. I feel like it adds something without being over the top. And I would say, again, this bag was definitely a surprise for me. It's not something that I ever thought was a bag I wanted until I actually tried it on and I do love it. I love this. This bag goes so good with dresses. Um, this color in particular goes really well with white dresses and I love white dresses in the summer, but it also goes really well with uh, light denim and really anything. It really just freshens up an outfit. And so I would say if you're going to explore a peekaboo, this is such a great silhouette and uh, very classic and will never go out of style. So I hope this review really helps you because I know a lot of people love Fendi um, and I don't know if you were someone like me who never really considered the pe mini peekaboo. This is such a great bag and just surprisingly really useful, functional and beautiful. So I hope that helped you and if you're deciding on this bag then um, maybe go inside of a store and try it on because that might be the thing that really um, makes your mind up. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then please consider binge watching some of my other videos and I will see you next time. Bye!